questions? Yes, sir. Where should I never sacrifice in selecting a location? And uh, to that, what would be the impact of my profit the most and what would be the provide the most return as well? Where should you never sacrifice? How do you mean? Uh, whether it's the cost of paying for the site long term or the location or the uh, degradation of the building or condition of the building. Where am I looking at the, the biggest uh, um, uh, waste of money and funds? That's a good question. I can make money in any site. Absolutely any site I can make money. The question will be for how long. And the question will be at what cost. Let me tell you what I mean. <clears throat> See, if you've got a bad site and you've spent too much on the building and then you expect me to come make money out of it, I could do it, but the customer won't like me for very long. It's amazing if I have to charge $39 for a slice of pizza. I might get you once. I probably won't get you twice. So what happens is, even though I've made the adjustment so I can make money in the site, it's short-lived. Well, this is why fine dining restaurants have such a high failure rate. Because what people tend to believe is, if I have a fine dining restaurant, I have to have fine furniture and fixtures. I have to have fine wall coverings, floor coverings, lighting, the list goes on. And it becomes so fine that I've got to charge you through the nose for your food. Then somebody comes along and tries to put a pizza restaurant in it and it won't work. Right? Or they try to put a hamburger restaurant in it and it won't work because the furnitures and the fixtures and the expenses for the building and the site cost is all so expensive. But I still come back to if I have a plain site with nothing there, just dirt, I can make money in the food industry and virtually any location because people have to eat. And if I'm given a blank slate and here's the map of the land and Howard, pick me a site and build me a location that will make me money in that site. My Really, my question becomes, well, can, so can I do any menu I want, any concept I want? Yep. OK, I can make money in, that, in any site. But it's after you start putting parameters on me, you've already built the building, You've already got the exp expense that goes with it. That's when it becomes virtually impossible. And that's why what you see is bad boxes, failing restaurant boxes. What that is is, and we've all seen it, and that is where a restaurant will be operating in a location. It'll be open for two, three, four, five, six months. It will fail. A different kind of restaurant will come in, same location. It'll be open six, eight, ten months. It'll fail. Different concept will come in in the same location. It'll be open a year, year and a half. It will fail. Different location will come in, be open for three months. It will fail. And it has a list line of bodies of failed concepts in that one box. It's because it's not a restaurant-oriented site. It's not a site that should be used in the food and beverage industry for whatever reason. And it may be there's not enough of the right traffic for menu sales, or it may be they've spent too much money on building a giant building that can't support the marketplace. But if you give me plain dirt, I can make money. <laughs>